Greetings from Arizona. Today I'm in the tiny town of Oatman and it's actually on Route 66. Route 66 runs right here in the middle of it. And this town was carved out here in the Black Mountains by some very determined miners over a hundred years ago. And one of the things that I think makes this place probably one of the most unique towns on earth is because they actually have more wild burrows that live here than people. That's the truth. It's the craziest thing. But um, how it all happened is when they had prospectors come here looking for gold, they brought with them their burrows. And then years later, when they stopped mining here, well, the miners left, but the burrows, I guess they wanted to stay. And these furry little residents are a lot of fun. They roam up and down the street. You can feed them. They certainly entertain the tourists. They're very friendly and fun. And um, there's even more to the colorful history here in Oatman. Now, what got its name was from a woman. Her name was Olive Oatman. And she was actually kidnapped by um, an Indian tribe. But years later, she was freed to her family right here in this community. And so they have named this town in her honor. And then back in 1915, you had two prospectors. They were looking for some gold and they found it up there in those hills. They sure did $10 million worth of gold. And this place became an instant gold mine boomtown overnight. And it definitely put Oakman, Arizona on the map. And then Hollywood, of course, heard about it. And they made some Western movies here. But my favorite story is a love story about Clark Gable and Carol Lombard. They got married down the road there in Kingman, but they came here to Oakman for their honeymoon, right over there at the Oakman Historical Hotel. And um, so this is one of the famous places here is the hotel and also their watering hole. This is really an authentic old Wild West town. I mean, they still have the wooden sidewalks, they have stage gun fights, they have the gold mines, it's also a ghost town, and then they have the burrows that walk up and down the street. It is a very unique town and I guess you just have to see it to believe it. Just another travel tidbit from Travel with Terry.